We got here three hours ago. Um, so far we hadn't seen anything but as the sun went down and the wind sort of settled, we saw a group of 11 ibex, one male, young male and females, uh, the rest of them females come out of this ravine behind us. And they're still feeding behind me over here on that mountain. It's a good sign they saw us, they didn't spook, their, they didn't take us as a threat and now they're just feeding there. Yesterday was a good day and the, end, the animal spooked fucked off <laughs> by one of because our one of our staff was running up the fucking hill for no reason at all. Uh, I was about to take the shot anyway they spooked now there. It's about what 6.30 in the morning and we've come back to where they had stopped. We've seen them, they're sitting there. Hopefully they'll come down and feed where they normally do in about an hour, hour and a half. And we'll be there waiting for them. ऊपर लगा, थोड़ा सा ऊपर लगा। लगा? नहीं नहीं, पीछे ही है। कौन से वाले हैं? बाजरे वाले? Yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital.
We started 5.30 a.m. and walked up. We knew the animals were here from last night. We walked up to them. We were about 150 to 200 meters away. They were in this small depression just up above us in the mountain. We had to wait about an hour and a half for them to uh, move from there and they decided to go up. Uh, they were all clumped together, so it was hard to get a clear shot on the right animal. Mm. And I got, I got one second in the middle, and there was a one foot gap between the animals. I took the shot, the animal fell to it, one shot kill. Then Shifa told me there's another big one in the back of the herd. And uh, he was pretty far, he was now at about 400 meters. I hit him, uh, the first shot I hit him in the back leg. And then he went further up, I shot him again. I don't know where that bullet has hit him, but it has hit him. He's uh, slowed down now, he's standing there mm -hmm. at about 450 yards. We're going to go up, see what his uh, current condition is, maybe hit him again. Or we'll just go and collect him. What a brilliant hunt. It 12 was. days into the hunt. It was. And two it animals. Congratulations. Three beautiful, beautiful hunt. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. It's a really oh. beautiful animal. Amazing. Amazing. One short kill. It's a one short kill. Well, 12 days in. And then one second. <laughs> one second. What's that? 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 What's Lovely, lovely horns on this guy. It's a good start to the hunt. Now we're after that big boy who's further ahead up in one of these ravines. So far so good. It will be there. This is a great sign. He's only 11, 10 and a half years old. If we can find one which is 13. 14 years? Or 14 years old. Might be we'll make a mark. Good morning. It's the third morning here up at camp at 13,000 feet and it's great news this morning we have spotted the animal that we were looking for he's about two miles that way just under the snow line he's a big boy Shifa and myself and our hunter Jalal here they're a bit far they're above us so they have a good vantage point so we're going to see what they do all day and then devise a plan Hopefully it works out and we get a shot. Well, today is a rest day after having missed that, uh, that bugger yesterday. I feel that the rifle might be shooting up at 560 yards by 2 inches. Lucky bugger. 
but it is what it is. So I'm gonna check out the rifle. Hopefully we get a clean kill, one shot kill tomorrow. That's it from here. Mustafa is our cab chef. He's been running down this uh, ledge here, about 100 feet, 120 feet below to get water for us every day, sometimes twice. He gets it in this 50 liter drum. Water there is ice cold, below freezing actually. The top layer is frozen and the water below is, is below freezing but it's not frozen because of the movement of the water. It's a tough job. And then he has to cook for all of us, 10 people, 12 people in camp. And then he has to do the dishes too. So he's having a ball, he's having a good time. <laughs> you can see, he's having a great time. Well, we had sent a scouting party out to this here ravine. And they came back with this. This is a snow leopard skin. It's about uh, for a week, 10 days old. It's a nice, about 7, 8 year old male. He was chewed up nicely. So the snow leopards are around here. Close to camp, we had one in camp uh, night before last, our donkeys went crazy. About 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. Uh, there was a whole shit fest going on over here. We had a lot of meat lying around because, uh, hey, we have, that's the only place we can keep it, right? So we had a snow leopard come into camp and, and then he buggered off and we took the lights and torches out and stuff like that. So they're around. We saw many tracks on the way, we've seen tracks up there. They're all over the place. It was about minus 20 this morning. It's probably our last day here. Yesterday, we took a rest day. We were glassing for the animals. They have gone further up as we feared. Um, they've gone further from where I took the shot onwards towards the glacier and then into a really, really tough area where there's just ice and rock. We cannot, we cannot follow them there. We have squatters out just doing a final check to see if they've come back out of there. I think not, I fear not. So we are going to probably head back down. There is another place, about two camps from here. So we'll see if we can get another good one there. The hunt here has been magnificent. Had two very nice animals. Uh, but it is a bit of a bittersweet moment. Well, this is the tent. This is my sleep-in arrangement. It fucking freezes in the night. I had a bottle of water with me, it was frozen solid. Um, just gonna pack up and then we're gonna head out back down. There is report of a nice ram <coughs> down that way. Hopefully we get a shot at him. Otherwise we've just about had it here. Um, it's been tough. It's been tough. Um, let's see how things progress from here on. Hopefully we get a shot on the way. Um, Up camp, and we're gonna head down. Looking, looking, looking. We can still find another one.
They were very, very high up. Something had happened. Uh, one of our spotters saw a snow leopard attack another another group. Probably it was a full moonlit night. Maybe he uh, probably he disturbed these guys also. They were way up in the cliffs. Around 3 p.m. yesterday, they started descending. We saw them till sundown. Shifa was there till sundown seeing them. After that, we decided that 4 a.m. this morning we will approach them. We started around 4.30. Um, I don't know what time it is right now. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock now, we just took the shot. We must have come up at least eight, nine hundred meters vertically. Lord knows how much we've walked. It was freezing cold this morning, it was windy. We came up through this ravine, up to this ridge up ahead, and we saw them at 280 meters. Finally, I got the last one of these animals. Oof. We had to climb, I think, around 800 meters straight up this morning, and we found them. I took a shot, I hit it, I hit him again, and he's down. Finally. Dead. Good luck. So we saw them at 280 meters. I took a shot, I hit him a little low, and I took him, then I hit him again, and he's down at about 350, maybe about 360 meters. What a brilliant hunt. I love it. It was. When it works out. It was. It's been 19 days I've been chasing these buggers. <laughs> we shot two before. This is the third one. We reckon it's the biggest one. Let's go have a look.